To embark, every passenger needs to be flushed with electromagnetism using a pilot seat. These standing sessions are known to cause nausea and headaches, symptoms lasting up to three days. I think temporary dis physical discomfort, no matter how severe, is a small price to save mankind. I guess? Yeah. There's like... Whoa. New York is built to fit a Ranger MK7 probe, meaning it could be shot into space. Excuse me, with the Omega sp uh, space gun and technically survived for thousands of years, living off the light from our sun and the new stars. I think the Ark should leave Earth behind and be launched into space. <laughs> no, it's no. The, it's in the it's in the trench. Mm. Well, if there's no possibility of Earth coming back, mm. the digitization of human <laughs> I stumbled under. Over digitalization and you stumble over, over humanity. <laughs> Shut up. It's an opportunity to make a quantum leap in our own evolution. The people inside the ark will, out of necessity, be generated from the existing genetic code that could be altered to allow for cosmic changes, ease aging, and even predict, prevent death. I think we are at risk of losing our humanity if we were to rid ourselves of disease and our mortality. Um, Agree not so. There are only 58 people left in the lab to be suffered inside the ark. <laughs> a way to diversify and expand the population would be to introduce artificial intelligences that would in every way appear to be human, but with childlike and naive sensibilities. As we continue to explore the nature of intelligence, we may find a way to make them smarter in our future. I think even an inferior group of artificial people would benefit our society. Thanks. Oh, that. Yeah. They're not even inferior. They're not. They're not people. Oh. Wow. The inferior companions was really split, split, yeah. Pain for gain. Wow. Damn. <laughs> she became randomly <laughs> British. Thanks. My my British uh, my British okay. accent's not as good as it used to be. She used to have a really good one. I don't do accents. I'm really bad at them. Huh? Wait, this isn't... Oh, no! Wow got to the dime bat before we did, am I right? Well, it was talking. That's rarely a good sign. Damn it. The dime bat was our best shot. I was really banking on this to work. Come on, we can't well, quit now. Die. There's gotta be another way. How do you think you did it? How did the team get the Ark down the Abyss in the first place? If they didn't use the dime bat, the only other way would be the climber at Omicron. It's like an elevator which supposedly reaches all the way down into the abyss. Yay, okay, no so we do that. We go to Omicron and take the elevator. Yeah, okay. Sure. We'll just head over to Omicron and hope there's a power suit that fits you. You know, so you don't implode while in the abyss. <laughs> that does sound useful. All right, let's go then. Wait, what is this place? Seems to be a lot of information on the art here. There's a prototype and everything. Okay. Let's start it up. I want to see how it works. Maybe we can figure out how to get on the Ark. You didn't know how to get us on? How difficult could it be? Oh, I'm 
The Earth doesn't even look that bulky. This is gonna be easy. You haven't heard of the concept of jinxing, have you? Sorry, I forgot your people were superstitious. Wow, that's so cool. It's the whole gang. A crew photo? Really? Who are you saving this for? The world was dead. Thanks, Simon. I thought being an asshole wasn't invented until the 22nd century. Wow! Now I know better. That's Phi, all right. Quick stop at Omicron, then Tau, then Phi. Let's do it. this thing? That's just a compound examiner. Coster uses it to investigate structural integrity in payload frameworks. Of course. Could you find it? If I knew what you were made of, it would be a hell of a lot easier to figure out how to get you on the ark. Give it a try. Yeah. Yeah. Bit of a tight fit. Can you reach the on switch? Object in square. Oh, that's Should I be worried about radiation? I think we're beyond that. Interesting. You seem to be one with the diving suit you're wearing. Everything's meshed together. Either. How's that gonna work with the suit we're picking up at Omicron? Um, I think they're bigger. You should be able to wear them both. You have no idea. Who's that? It looks like the basis for your body is one of my old colleagues. A standard cortex chip for robots, including the data reader and the ocu torch, has just been forced through the skull. What? Structure gel has fused the whole construction together. Amazing stuff. No, 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 no. Hold on. Back up. I'm one of your old colleagues? Well, your body is. Imogen Reed. That's disgusting. Hey, don't say that. She was my... She was nice to me. Uh-huh. Anyway, the cortex chip is good news. That means we can transfer your mind to the Ark with a pilot seat. Kath, I'm half a dead person. Yes, it makes sense. Think about it. All those simplistic minds we've run into? Just reviving a dead person doesn't seem to work that well. A robot body seems to make people a bit unreliable. You are the best of both worlds. A sound mind and a sound body. In a dead body. At least we know how to get off the Ark. Sort of. I understand the concept, but I don't know the specifics. I really wish we could figure out how the scan data is formulated and processed. Start an arc simulation. I want to see how it works. In the starfish. Let's stick your hand in the starfish. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, now it makes the power go to the tail. Looks like it. Is that a tail? No. 
flour super healthy. I have a drill. I have a drill. I have a drill. Hey, 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 hey. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. Um, this game is pretty. Yeah. 